Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to take you through the if formula in Excel. This is one of the most popular and useful functions for all Excel users. So let's go through the example I've got on screen where I've got a bunch of students and their results to an exam. And we want to use the if formula to work out whether they've passed or failed that exam based on our result or our benchmark result of 75%. So I'm going to show you in two ways how to build this formula. Firstly, build it in its entirety. And then I want to show you how to do this dynamically. So if we change that pass mark, the formula automatically updates and we don't have to go and change it again. So let's get started. In cell D5, we're going to start building the formula equals if, open brackets. Now the test is if it's 75% or over. So if cell C5 is bigger than or equal to 75%, which is 0.75 in decimal places, comma, if that's true, we want to bring back the word pass in double quotation marks. Otherwise, we're going to bring back the word fail in double quotation marks. Close the brackets and press enter. And you can see all the results as we drag them down have automatically updated. So the ones where it's over 75%, it's come back with pass. Now, if we change the pass rate to say 65%, the formula doesn't update. So this is where the dynamic, or well, the second part of my tutorial comes in, where we can change it to a dynamic formula. So let's do that. And just before I do, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the video. Okay, so let's go and rebuild this formula using some dynamic cell ranges. Equals if, so we're starting the formula that the same, equals if cell C5 is bigger than or equal to, instead of typing in that percentage rate, we're going to reference the cell G2. We're going to put those dollar signs in there just so we can lock those cells and drag the formula down. So if C5 is bigger than G2, bigger than or equal to, then we're going to bring back cell H2 and lock those cells again. Otherwise, we're going to bring back the cell H3 and lock those cells again. Close the brackets. And now you can see that because the pass rate is 65%, that has changed to a pass. We'll drag that down, and you can see it's automatically and dynamically updated all those cells. So we can change these reference cells now. So if the percentage rate updates, we don't have to go and update the formula. We can just change it here in the reference cell, and automatically the formula does the rest. And said we don't want to have pass, we want to go and put the word tick, it just changes the the result from the if formula. So it's a really handy formula, one that will get you on your Excel journey. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.